this hair straightening time. All right, I actually need to, need to move quickly right now. We ain't got a lot of time. It's already, I don't even need to think about what time it is. I just need to go. Um, I need this. Oh, the other one's out here. That new portable hard drive that I got has very slow upload times. Like, very, very slow. So I'm glad that I'm finished with it so early because I feel like it's not gonna be ready until I'm about to leave the house. Like, it's, I think, one something right now. And um, it's moving so slow. Like, very, very slow. Which is actually kind of worrisome. Like, I don't like that. That's just not, that doesn't work for what I need it for. Like, I need it to not move that slow. There are days where I'm not gonna finish until later. And the way that's uploading, it wouldn't be up until the next day type shit. Let's say I finished it like 10 or 9 even. It would take hours for it to upload because it took it like 5 minutes to even get to 1% of an upload. That's that's not normal. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that's about. Just trying to give my hair a, a good drying a little bit so I could start blow drying it. I use the Infra Treatment from Chi. I always use that in the shower keep it in for five minutes. That's my first layer of heat protectant. Is, is this for blue dry? Yeah. The next thing I put on is this to blow dry my hair. Excuse my nails, cause they went through when I was washing my hair. Not a ton, just enough to like coat the hair. I did some detangling in the shower, so I should be good to blow dry. Sometimes I feel like I miss the top part of my head. I'm just gonna put a little bit at the top. At the root. All right, let's start blue drying. We'll do it section by section. You gotta go. You and Roly. Hold on. Come on, girls. Okay, it's been like 15 minutes. Let's see how much of the video has uploaded. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, um, that's crazy. 7%? Oh, nah, I'm gonna have to take that bitch back. That's not gonna work. Super high risk. watch something that I have to actually pay attention to right now that I need to do this and I don't have a lot of time this is uploading so slow I'm concerned 
I feel like it's not going to be done by the time I leave. It's only on 8% and it's been uploading for at least 30 minutes. I'm going to bump my ends. Normally I don't, but... Let's do this. show y'all what I ended up putting on. Y'all know hair is not gonna look cute until tomorrow anyways, because um, I have to pin curl it. So it's like raggedy in the back, but I ain't worried about the back because I can only see the front. So I have a little like Zara. Audience. <laughs> We're like watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the, this is Zara. Um, this is Zara watching my face with a little bra peekage. My leather chemise. And then I'm wearing this little, um, Naked wardrobe skirt, and I have on the boots from Revolve. Pop, see ya, they're playing back. <laughs> well, I had a lot. Girls, 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 girls. <sighs> Just getting home. Life of a bad bitch means you're gonna kinda have to get used to motherfuckers staring at you. You know what I'm saying? They gonna stare. That's one thing about it. Let me quickly and briefly. I'm gonna show you real quick my look. But I love my outfit. My outfit ended up being so cute. I did wear my boots. I actually was talking about my outfit live on TikTok, so I don't even think I was showing y'all like the outfit debacle my tried and true purse and the new boots from revolve very cute girl so my birthday is in two hours i it's so funny like now i'm at that age where it's like you know there was a time where like you you up on your birthday like you bring your birthday in out someplace bitch i'm about to be in the bed okay i have to be in the bed i'll probably still be up but i'm gonna be in the bed i'm going to I'm gonna pin curl my hair because I know I'll like for my hair to be pin curled tomorrow. It just looks better because I don't get it biggity bone straight on the end. Hey, like, I'm not I'm not passing um I'm not passing the thing on it multiple times. Like I'm just doing a solid one, maybe two passes. So because of that, it's just not that. And also my flat iron, it doesn't get to 400 degrees. I think it gets to like 350. So yeah, this is what we're working with. I was gonna go live and pin curl my hair, but I don't wanna be on live like bringing my birthday in. That's kind of lame. So won't do that. Um, Yeah. We went to a basketball game. The basketball game was good, but the Hawks lost. They did not keep up their winning streak. So that kind of sucked, but it was a great game. Great game. I had a good time with my friends. <laughs> How many of us have been? <laughs> the ones they can depend on. This was a great purchase. I love these boots so much. I just love them. And I think I'll be wearing them again tomorrow. Um, my friend's gonna come here and do my makeup tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. Tomorrow, um, I don't have any plans tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go take a walk, you know what I'm saying? Reflect, get some fresh air. Really just like take a moment, just show some gratitude. The vlog finally came out. So I finished the vlog this morning and finished editing it by like noon. I started uploading it and it did not 
finish uploading until 7.30. It took seven hours, maybe not seven, maybe like five to six hours for it to upload. That's still crazy. So someone told me that I might need to update my software on my computer, like that might be what the issue is. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure my, my software is updated. So I'm gonna look and see if, if that's what the issue is. If not, I'm returning that thing. There should be no reason why it takes that long for something to upload, I can't deal with that. She gives me anxiety. <sighs> I'm gonna clean up a little bit so then I can take a few cute pictures before I start pin curling the hair. on February 5th. My birthday is in two minutes. And I'm just feeling good, regular. I caught 11-11 and I just thanked you. Redacted. And all that it's brought me um, mentally and emotionally. I'm very grateful for this past year. It was a tough year for me, but it was a great learning year and a great directory, you know, because I know how I want to spend next year. And I feel closer to myself and I'm very grateful for that. And what I'm praying for in my Redacted. year is to become even more connected with myself and feel fabulous. Officially my birthday. Mm, thank you. My mom texts me. <laughs> I love the, the friends that hit you up at midnight on your birthday. I just think that's so cute. <laughs> okay, let me finish pin curling my head so I can go to bed. Brother, I was gonna like not talk this whole I was gonna not talk this whole time, but my brother called me. My youngest brother called me and asked me if I had plans today. The way I wanted to cancel all of my plans. Oh phone buzz ringing. Oh, that's my aunt. Hello. Hello. I've got chapped my lips are not ashy, I swear. I don't know why they look ashy purple. Um, it is my birthday and I'm feeling good. It's like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I not be cleaning up and doing my normal stuff today? I don't know. But I do know that when I come back, I want my house to be together. You know what I'm saying? 
So. Fresh towels in the dryer because I want to shower with a fresh washcloth, fresh towel. Like, I don't want to use yesterday's stuff. Like, I'm a brand new bitch. Like, this is the day, you know? Finally, getting rid of this. I kept on this. This is the plant that I got. I think from Nike or maybe from Mountain Moisture uh, that I wanted to keep as a dry plant and I did, but I'm over it now. I'm gonna keep the planter though. I love birthdays because I get to hear from everybody. Like everybody calls or texts, it was nice. You know what I mean? I'm definitely on the right. Like, I'm definitely on that. Like, it's, yeah. I'm on pace. Oh, so this is, this is for tomorrow, this is for today's drawing. So I can wait, cause this says February 6th, 2024. Periante. So we might still, might still have the winning take. Gotta hold on to this. And one thing about me you need to know is, I do believe I'm gonna win the lottery. I'm not like the rest of the folks that think they're gonna win. I really think I got it. I gotta change these carnations out. So what I'm learning, or what I think I've learned is that without the proper support, they're not gonna flourish. The reason why I think those white ones that I have over there that are still flourishing, I think they're flourishing because they're properly supported. And these are not, like if they were shorter, if I cut them shorter, then maybe. But like, see how this is doing this? There's two of them doing that. The happiest birthday. The happiest birthday. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. I'm about to tear it up. No, I'm about to tear it up. I'm about to tear it up. Come on, baby. Get a little bit of that lemon on you. It's about to be so good. <laughs> it's about to be yummy, yum, yum. Mmm. Oh, 
clock out 111 cause bitch, I'm that type of bitch. Thank you, Cher. I do believe in love after love or life after love. I don't know quite what she's saying, but the sentiment's there and I love her. Okay. See ya. How stinking cute is the Maui Moisture team. <laughs> How cute. They always send beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers every year. Beautiful. I love what this looks like. I'm probably gonna take them out of this thing and put them in a little small vase. I'm mad because I had these like cute little small round vases that I used for my friend's bachelorette or for her, um, not bachelorette, for her like bridal room and they were left in there so. They're all gone now. Well, somebody has. They were so cute and perfect for like little tiny arrangements, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna like take these out and make little mini arrangements around the house. I'll just have to use like mugs and stuff, low key. Um, so now I've just come back from a really nice walk. It is beautiful outside. Like I was hot. I was taking off my jacket. It is beautiful, a beautiful day. I'm going to shower. It's my friends on the way here. We're just gonna chill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my toes and my hands, and then she'll do my makeup. So this is what I'm gonna wear tonight. Something slight. And I was going back and forth about the shoes. Like I was like, okay, let me wear the boot with this. You won't see it for real. You'll really just see the bottom part of the boot. But it was just looking a little too boot-like for me. And so I think I'm just gonna do like a really cute one of my chrome sandals, which I'll show y'all later. What is that noise? I'm gonna do that sandal. Um, and yeah, that's my plan. Okay, I'm gonna go shower and I'll see you girls. Yeah, finally, that noise was killing me. Oh, look what my homeboy sent me. An edible arrangements. Do I think edible arrangements are kind of gross? Yeah, but it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Um, so it's, I'll show you. Here's the one. Me and my friend will tear this up a little later. And then the two, a little chocolate cake with some chocolate covered strawberries. Oh. Very, very sweet. Very grateful. Love the love. I am loving the love. I am soaking it all in. Absolutely loving this. I will see you girls later. Bye. Oh, 
Okay, I ended up wearing this anthropology dress. I'm gonna show you in the big mirror. And I have on these shoes that I got on sale. I'm just wearing the which one is. But it's so cute. And I decided to do half up, half down. Instead of just my hair all the way down because I don't feel like I ever wear my hair like this. Whenever my hair is pink curled, I'll be like. <laughs> I feel like every inch that I take, they're like inching out. Okay, so here it is, full body. Very cute, very um, body, very like, but it's moving with every walk. You can't really tell, but okay. Well, bye girls, see ya. Straighten my hair and now all of a sudden I want to sweat in my sleep. I don't never be sweating in my sleep like that. I said, what the hell? So I fear my hair probably looks like this. Yeah, it's just not biggity bone straight. And partly my hair is like not as pristine as I want it to be because the day that I straightened my hair, I was literally working with not a lot of time. So, you yeah. know, working with what I got. Yeah, girl, my hair is curled um, at the root. That's funny. Oh, well, it's not funny, because what the fuck? But I should do a little trim to my hair. I'm going out tonight as the last of my birthday festivities. So I'm trying to decide how I want my hair. Always checking to see what the back is giving. Okay, it's just giving long, beautiful hair. That's it. I'm gonna be honest with you, think about it. Yeah, so. That's, that's all it's getting from that. I'm gonna go run a few errands. I have some things to return. So I'm gonna take care of that. Get some outside time in. Uh, I think I'm gonna go no headphones. I just kinda wanna be headphone free. Just getting my earrings. So what I'm taking back is that goddamn African shea butter that was broken at the bottom. You going back? And them two picture frames that I got because I realized they're ugly. So, have it. Let me make sure. Refunds within 30 days. When did I get on top because I'm gonna be playing music and YouTube does not allow that so all right I have like two hours to get ready that's good enough time tonight I'm going out to a function so I definitely want to look cute I brought all of my makeup materials in here my desk looks crazy so I'm not gonna show it but eventually I'm gonna get this set up in a way that's just like ah and I can't wait for that. But for now, I'm really happy with what I've got. Okay, in honor of Jay Dilla's birthday, we're gonna play Jay Dilla's album. Ooh. 
I'm trying to see if it's as cute on TikTok. Okay. Hi. For a little fun, for a little fun, right? Almost fell with my little boot. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's for that. Oh, I'm all kinds of bloated because this thing. It's so tight on my stomach. I felt like I had gas all night. I don't even have gas, but it's doing that. But yeah. This was the vibe, girl. Um, had all the boys like, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Who's that? You'll never know. We're not talking, sweetie. So this jacket is actually my homegirl's jacket. It was between this or my leather jacket. And I'm just like, I don't wanna be leather jacket girl again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna pass on that. And I asked to borrow her jacket. Perfect, just perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And yeah, so we went out tonight and bottom line, point blank period. Damn, I should've did some pictures. Put it undone. And like cute and like two PC. I ain't get no two PC type picks. I need to take some pics. Instagram. We did take some pics, but I didn't get like enough. Alright. I need it this moment. And I didn't get it. Um something to drink when he was like, oh, you know, we don't drink. 
why y'all don't drink? One dude even asked, like, why y'all come? To, why y'all come out if y'all don't drink? I'm sorry, excuse me. I didn't realize that was a requirement. Uh, you can't come here and listen to music and just vibe out. Hello. And just because you don't drink doesn't mean we don't partake in other things. We don't. But it's like it's like you, you motherfuckers was like you don't drink. Like bare minimum, you must drink. Girl, please. I said, um, buy me a Fiji water and get out my face. Thank you. So we had a nice little section to ourselves, comfortable, you know. And that's just how God worked. It was a good night. It was a good night. It was a good night. And also another thing about not being a girl that goes out like that, when you do go out, it's a, it's a, it's a proper pop out. Like a proper, like, who is that? You know? People don't see you. They don't know, like, like, who is that girl? Who's that girl? It's me. No, it's me. <laughs> yeah, baby, it's me. Yeah, why well, I ain't do no, I had it like this the whole time. Which is like, not a bad look. This is definitely cute. But like, I could have had some, like, Moments. I just didn't. I want to get some pictures before I take everything off. Like some pictures in the house. I took some pictures while I was out, but I need a few mirror photos. Please. I'm going to do that. I'll see you girls in a bit. Bye. Okay, girls. I have officially taken all the pictures I want to take. These pants are starting to make my ass itch. And let me tell you the sensation I'm talking about. There's certain like tight pants that start feeling like I'm getting pricked a thousand times. I don't know what that is, but I hate shit like that. And I avoid wearing like super tight stuff because of this sensation. It's in a lot of stretchy material. Like I ain't never just went pantsless on camera, but I need to take that off. God dang. Whew. Itchy. Um, okay, girls. Mama's got a big old butt. Oh yeah, got a big old butt. Oh yeah, I got a big old butt. Oh yeah, I got a big old, big old butt. All right, I'm gonna go wash my face, brush my teeth, and go do it. Love you much. Bye. Good night, see you tomorrow of this cat just running his mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's like, stop. One thing about me, I've been listening to Monique's interview on uh, Club Shay Shay, which, why did he choose that name? That's so funny to me. But yeah, I'm team Monique. I believe everything she shared, everything. My brother's coming over to hang. So that's what I'll be doing today. Probably gonna cook us some breakfast sandwiches and then go for a little walk. The other thing I need to do is start editing today and um, other work I need to do. Okay, I'll see you girls later, bye.
finished product. Clear. Yum. Yum. And uh, this interview of his sister sobbing. I saw that clip on Twitter. The lady so it's is real. Lady. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Stop trying to put too much in It's a decision I've heard in a long time. But we're trying to a documentary. It's a two-part docu-series airing on our, the secrets between them. So, what that Salaman bond his ass had life in prison with the possibility of parole. All of a sudden, this bitch got something to say. Now, I'm when we ready to mop up La Floor, okay, when you line his ass, I don't know what makes you y'all decide to do. I was really, I don't want this leader. I don't want this leader. <laughs> it's like, good line on some of you. That's how I feel. I don't want this leader. I don't want this leader. Do I just find the song? No. My computer. Don't. Do not have to. Got her. Oh, the I'm saying she did she had the hands and came up with a bad idea. They went light on this, you know. I'm not sure if I talked about this on camera, but when I went out the other night, we had a ball. But when we got there, the little section that we was in, one of the guys was like, you know, he had the bottle like you know, asking us if we want to drink. We all like, no, nah, no, thank you. What do I do? It's like, oh we don't drink. <laughs> to ask why do we come out if we not drinking sir you are pushing 40 you should know better than anybody that drinking is not a prerequisite for going out I just feel like once you get to a certain age you understand that the overconsumption of alcohol okay is not something to applaud at this stage in the game and it absolutely is an overconsumption because people drinking because they're out and not because they want to enjoy the drink, just simply because it's a part of their look as they're out. I don't know. One time a guy I was dating told me that he only drank because his friends would pressure him to drink. Whew. Talk about a, a cat has been dried. I'm talking about like whatever was there is no longer there you are too grown to allow your friends to pressure you to do anything especially drink his brother said he wanted to not drink for three months and could not fulfill the three months because his friends pressured him that is a turnoff that is a turnoff what they gonna pressure you to do next you feel what I'm saying if you want to drink, drink. This is not a matter of like, you know, I can't stand folks that drink. Turn up, do your thing. I also used to turn up in that way. I don't drink anymore because I had to be honest with myself about why I was drinking. I was never drinking because I enjoyed drinking. I was drinking because everybody around me was drinking. And I just felt like I can't be the only person not drinking. And not only can I not be the only person, I didn't want to be the only person not drinking. It's like, this is not going to be fun for me. And so, as you get older though, I just feel like your environment is more reflective of who you are and what you want to be around. You pick and choose what environments you want to be in. And if you feel like the people who you hang out with are only fun when you drink or only will be fun with you if you're drinking with them, then you might not be able to hang out with them in that way. I might have to see you for dinner or for breakfast one of these days or for whatever the fuck, you feel me? It actually is really sad because I'm at that age now where I'm witnessing it being not just a social thing, but something that people rely on. I'm talking about alcohol. Like, I'm noticing that people need alcohol. They turn to alcohol as a form of comfort, as a form of relaxation, and it has been completely normalized as like the thing that you do when you're outside. And I feel like this is the age where it's like, it's no longer just like this thing that you do to turn up. You got a problem. <laughs> like, alcoholism is a thing. And I, I fear that 
a lot of folks who think that they're just casually drinking when they go out every other night actually are alcoholics and that's a tough pill to swallow i'm sure but it is what it is hate to say it hate to say it but yeah um it's time to face the music okay and again, this is not a judgment on whether or not you drink. I know sometimes when I say I don't drink, someone will be like, well, I feel like I can't drink now. It's like, that's part of the problem is that you're too affected by what everybody else is doing. It shouldn't matter whether or not I'm drinking or not. If you're choosing to drink, you should drink. It, it just shouldn't matter, you know? So yeah. And I know the rebuttal to that is like, well, no, it's just because I don't want to drink when if you're not drinking. But again, it just goes back to like, do what you want to do if you want to do it. What is Beyonce doing? I keep seeing these Verizon commercials. I keep seeing these motherfucking Verizon commercials with that damn horse for the Super Bowl. I really wanna know, what is she up to? Anyway, I just came back from a walk and now I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna return that hourglass veil because it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. And I want my $50 back. And that's just that. That's just that. Like, it's cool, but it's not that cool. If I'm gonna do a tinted moisturizer, it needs to really look like something I like. And when I put this on, I don't love it. My face feels muddy. So, I'm gonna go return that. And I might get a perfume. Mama is back. And I got a birthday gift for her. I thought this was mascara, but actually it's even better. It's Airbrow, that's exciting. Airbrow and a wet lip oil from Kosas. Yeah. So, let's see what she's talking about. I already got something on my lips right now, so we're gonna have to wait on the lip. Damn, it's small enough, ain't it? God damn. I'm talking about, it's made for an ant. We're gonna use that later. And this clear lifting treatment gel. Cool, always down for a brow gel whatever but i know i got my fit it all of that that's all i wanted it's only two o'clock i got an early start to the day today so i'm gonna go take me a walk and well my second walk of the day and uh maybe i'll take a book just read and walk but taking a book while i'm walking people think i want attention and I get it, like you see someone reading and walking, it's like, oh, okay, girl. I genuinely just want to do something other than listen to music. Like I would prefer to read in this moment. I'm not doing it so then people can think that I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, she thinks she doing something cause she reading and walking. Like it's not, I'm not, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm genuinely just trying to be a bell, man. I'm trying to figure out if you can see every dimple in my butt when I walk in these pants. I can't tell for real. But something gives you kind of can. I'm going to do some test walks in front of the mirror. I just can't tell, like, if in natural light. It's like you can, but it's like who doesn't have a dimple on their butt? She must be at work or something. Okay, I'm gonna go take a walk for real and I'll see you girls. I got emails to respond to that I just don't feel like responding to. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Suits has become damn near unbearable for me. It's not good. Um, okay, so. Not that it's not good, it's just redundant. It's like the same story over and over again. Like, All right, so I am 
I'm gonna transfer the flowers that I got from Madame Moisture on my birthday into um, some small glasses that I have that I got as a birthday gift a few years ago for my homegirl. All of my little small vases are gone and I'm so sad about it. So I have to use some glassware. And I don't use these to drink out of, not because I don't think they're cute. Um, I just haven't used them yet. So I'm gonna use these. These glasses are actually by a black owned company called Estelle. Really nice glassware. I'm just gonna start like pulling out the flowers just to see what will fit because I don't know how long all the stems are. Let's just see everything. Um, is that all the roses? Yeah. So I was thinking about where we left off in the last vlog and I think I said I would talk about it in this vlog just about like maturing and outgrowing relationships and like how to handle that and the short version of what I'm gonna say is I ain't got the answers period I think it's a learn as you go type situation and it varies from person to person relationship to relationship but what I can say is I think as I've matured I've learned that for me I always want to I think I'm gonna get rid of these donations or let me just put them here. Oh, I have this little skinny one, but I still need something else. Hold on. As I've gotten older, I just know that I want my friends, no matter where they are in their journey, to feel supported, heard, understood, and not judged. And it's definitely tricky because there'll be moments where you'll see your friend going through something that's like, you feel like you might have the answers for and uh, you wanna just like tell them what to do or do it a way that you think is best. And the reality of it is they have to do it their way. This is too big. I think I need to put it in. What I've learned with people is that they are gonna do what they wanna do and they're gonna grow when they feel like growing. There is no amount of you telling somebody something that's gonna make them move any faster. And you'll learn that. It doesn't matter what you see for your friends or family or, or what your opinions are as far as like what you think is best. A person's gonna do what they wanna do. And as a friend, the best thing you can do is let your friends figure it out and just support them through it. Obviously offer advice when asked, but I think in my experience, the feedback that I've gotten from friends in my life is sometimes folks gotta just figure stuff out on their own. It doesn't mean that what you think is wrong, it just means they need to figure it out on their own. I also think, you know, you have to be prepared to outgrow relationships or grow out of relationships. That happens too. And it's an adjustment, but sometimes it's the best thing. I know for me, I wanna be the type of friend I'd want to find. So I try to be mindful of that with how I show up for my friends, how I talk to my friends. I think that's it. I want this, I'm not throwing that away. Keeping that. Thank you so much. Thank you to my moisture. I'm always sending me the prettiest bouquet. So we've got Miss Yellow, Pink, and Green. Cute, I could trim some of these tulips down. Everybody know that. You talk one about it, you bitches bother me. I don't even need you to say nothing. Okay, so we got pink and green and yellow going on here. Okay, and we got a little yellow and green. The carnations that I got two weeks ago and the berries. white lilies and purple orchids. Some kind of purple, some pretty. But back to the friendship talk, I feel like at this stage in the game, in the same way I approach the romantic relationships in my life, whomever I deal with in an intimate level, and your friendships are also very intimate. I would just say like, I expect those people to be active participants in the relationship. It requires you showing up 
It requires accountability, respect, honesty, consistency, wherever someone is in their life. And, you know, we go through things that maybe don't allow us to show up at 100% all the time. And no one should expect that from anyone. It's just not possible. Shit happens. But I think in the most honest relationships, you can see that in someone, that they're going through something, or they'll communicate that to you, that they're going through something, and you all can support each other through it. I personally feel like regardless of where the people in my life are, in their lives, like if they're going through stuff, if I feel like I'm on a different like maturity level, whatever, so long as I feel respected, seen, supported, you know, and understood, that's a friendship that has bones. We don't have to be at the exact same place all the time in our lives in order to connect. The only thing for me that'll make me like turned off of someone, platonically, romantically, whatever, just like I won't be interested in being around them, is if they have like an unwillingness to grow. If they're like, this is what it is and this is what it's always gonna be, then that's not my type of person. Never use this turmeric, never open. It is molded. I do believe that there are some relationships that aren't meant to last forever. Like, and by that I mean that I accept that some relationships don't last forever. I think when you, when you hold on to that saying too hard, you be disposing of people. Like, there's a carelessness of it, it's just like, you know, at least in my experience, the people that I've heard saying, I'm just like, mm. it's like, it's not that you're wrong. It's just like your energy around it is giving like, you don't care either way. And the thing is, is that I care. Just because a relationship doesn't last forever doesn't mean that I don't give a fuck about it them or what happens to them or whatever. I think the best relationships are those that grow with you. And it doesn't mean y'all have to grow in the exact same things at the same time. Like maybe you've learned about your self-worth and you've really, you're really valuing that. And uh, maybe they're learning how to treat people better. You feel me? how to have better relationships with their family. Like, it's just, it's just the, the getting better is really the thing. The learning more, the broadening of your perspective, the willingness to grow. That's a beautiful thing to connect with someone on. And my best friendships have been because we were able to connect on those things. Taking chances, taking risks, you know, believing in ourselves, believing in one another, actively working on the relationships in our lives all the while supporting each other while we're going through it. When people tell me they have a hard time finding friends, I wonder if it's because they're looking for people who are just like them. None of my friends are just like me. Like literally none of them. We might have similar opinions on certain things, similar stances on things, but none of us are alike. I'm even like my longest friendships. The point is, your friends don't have to be just like you. I think you have to find people who have someone with good character. Like, you always want that. I don't go looking for new friends. All of the friends that I've ever made have been very circumstantial. But I know that the reason why we were able to connect is because we literally took a moment to connect. Like, we sat and talked and got to know one another. There's no like quick, boom, now I'm besties with this person. It's never that, it's always like, you know, I'm getting to know this individual. We take our time and a true friendship forms. So my plans for today is really just edit. I'm just gonna edit all day. 2.22, thank you God. Um, okay, thank you. You talking to me? I'm gonna edit today. Yeah, I never traded out that portable hard drive. Um, and it's gonna take a long time to save. So I wanna give it a lot of time to do that. So I'm gonna start editing the day. Hopefully I finish tomorrow, Sunday, 
so then I can start saving it on Sunday because it took like eight hours for it to save so or for it to upload so yeah I just want to have enough time to do that I don't want to spend I don't want it to feel wasted so I'm gonna jump into that and uh, I'll see y'all later well I don't know if this is the end of the vlog but if it is I hope you enjoyed this vlog I'll see you girls next week